Welcome to another edition of Tasker 101 Tutorials. This is lesson number 14 and this is going to be just a general tips and tricks lesson. Um, we're going to uh, veer a little bit from the typical format that uh, I stick to now which is just creating, a fi try figuring out a problem, uh, something we want to do and then doing it, figuring out how to do it which is uh, of course the best way to learn Tasker. But there are some things within Tasker that as you're doing your own things, as you're as you are learning, and you're starting to come up with your own ideas and 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 create your own uh, profiles and and tasks and things, there are things that you might uh, might be trying to figure out how to do, or uh, even if or you just don't know you can do that would help you out. And uh, so I just wanted to go over some of those things because um, these are good things just to know, just in general for when you're using Tasker. They will help help you out. So, uh, first thing I'm going to show you is uh, how to turn off an activity within a task list. So let's go over here to task and um, let's see if we can find one that has a lot of stuff in it. I think that one does. Yes, that one's a good one. So uh, you might remember we were creating this. Uh, profile to test the Wi-Fi strength and if the strength was below a certain number then switch over to the other Wi-Fi in your home uh, because that means you're closer to it and it should be stronger. Um, and this was a complicated task. It took me some time to kind of figure out and test things. So as you're doing that, as you're building uh, your task with different actions, sometimes you put an action in there just to sort of test something, but then uh, you're not sure if you're going to use it or not. You don't want to delete it because you want to remember that it's a possibility or remember your idea for it or whatever, but you don't want it to, as you're testing it, you want to not, you don't want it to happen right now. And so you can uh, turn off an activity on a task list. So what we're going to do is we're going to long press, and then there's a little power button right there. So if I click that power button, you'll see there is a, a little... Uh, purple bar to the side there and what that means is this task I mean this activity within this task is off so if I were to play this right now or if I were to trigger it with the profile then as it's going through it's not going to do this task because it's turned I mean this activity because it's turned off so that's a good way to you can if you if there's you're trying to figure out two or three different ways to try something you can put it on there but you can put all three of them on there, but then turn two of them off to test the one, and then turn that one off and turn one of the other ones on. Uh, it's easy. Turn it back on. You just long press and press the little power button up there, and it turns it back on. So that's a really good thing to use when you're trying to figure out uh, the right activities to make your task work the way you want it to work. Um, through trial and error is to be able to turn off various activities within your task until you figure out which ones are the ones that are going to make it work the way you want to. So that's how you turn off an activity in a task list. Um, and, and the next one is insert action. So let's say, you know, I've created this task and there's a, there's a new activity I want to add and it's going to, I want to add it up here. Now I could just press the plus button and add it and it would add at the bottom and then I can long press and drag it up here. And uh, this activity, this has nine actions which isn't too bad but I mean I've, I've had some tasks that have like 15 actions. And so that can be, you know, to have it go to the bottom and drag it to the top, it, it can be a little bit uh, difficult or you can forget where you wanted to put it, where it needed to go. So you can easily add a task, insert an action just by long pressing. So I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to long press variable split and then click the menu button and then insert action. And then uh, we'll just make up an action. Task, uh, wait one second, and there you go. So it inserts the action uh, above the uh, uh, the task that you long pressed. And so there it is right there. And that way you don't have to put it at the bottom and then drag it all the way up to the top. You can just put it exactly where you want it right from the start. So again, just a simple thing, but something that can be helpful, especially if you're working with very complex tasks that have a long list of activities in them. 
So let's take that out right now. There's two ways to take uh, a, a task out. Um, you can hit the cut button and you could then later paste it somewhere or you can just, if you don't long press it, you can just drag it down to the delete button. So you could drag it down to delete and do that and it would delete it. And so that's one way to do it. Or you can long press and cut. It's probably, if you actually want to delete it, it's better to drag it down to the delete button so it's deleted. If you cut it, then it's gone, but it's being held in memory. So let's say I wanted to move that task down here. I could long press, and now I can hit the, uh, uh, the paste button. Uh, sorry. I pressed the copy button. So the paste button, and you'll see, because I copied action seven and then I pasted it, so now you have two of the same same tasks. So let's delete that. Um, another thing you can do, well, cut, copy, same thing. Cut, copy, and paste. You could also do that between a uh, different task. So you can cut an action from this task or copy an action from this task and then you can paste it into a different task um, associated with a different profile which can be helpful uh, if there's a certain activity that you need to do that with. So that's a good, just a good small thing to know. Um, now one thing, if go back to my, my home, not really home page, but home base, you probably have noticed that I have various uh, things along the bottom here. And uh, basically these are tabs or projects. And you can create uh, when if you if you just have been using, using Tasker as it comes, then you just have the home uh, tab or home project. Uh, but you can create new tabs and move things around. Uh, whenever I'm doing lessons, I'm in my school tab, and I keep all the lesson uh, profiles and tasks inside the school tab. I have this T tab that I use to test things and figure things out. So it's easy to create a new one. You just long press on any of them down here. So if I long press on the home, then it's going to ask me, do I want to add, import, lock, rename, or set icon? Um, you can set an icon for your tab, or you can name your tab, rename your tab. You can lock it so that you need code to get into it. You can import, and we'll talk about that in a minute, or you can add. So I'm going to click add, and new project name. lesson. Except I didn't touch lesson, so it's Lurchen. So now we have a new tab, Lurchen tab. And home tab's still there, it's just now I have so many tabs they don't all fit. So now that I have this new tab with nothing in it, I can create, uh, start from scratch. It's good sometimes if you're working on a project uh, that's maybe going to contain several profiles, like the one we just did is a great example. The one we did that had a uh, uh, because we have three different profiles and different tasks all associated with this one thing we want to happen. So it's good to kind of create something like that in its own tab uh, so that you can just, you don't get confused with all the other stuff you have in Tasker. Um, and there's a way you can very easily move things over. Uh, let's see, let's go to the bottom there. So. I can press here and then drag this to lesson. Press here and drag. No, press here and drag that to lesson. And then press there and drag that to lesson. So now if I go over there, they're all there. Now the tasks that are associated with it aren't there yet, so we'd have to move them manually. Um, but the profiles are all there. So that's how you create a new tab or a new project. And like I said, if you long press on it, you can also uh, uh, lock it, um, rename it, uh, delete it, various things that you can do. Uh, next thing I want to show you is uh, backing up data under preferences. You press menu and then you select data. Menu, data and you can back up 
the data of uh, your tasker configuration. So uh, now in preferences, we did cover this before where in your settings you can set up to automatically back up. But just so you know, you can manually back up anytime you want to. Just menu and then data and then uh, run a backup. Now another thing I wanted to show you is how you can export things. Uh, you can export profiles, you can export tasks, you can export scenes, and you can export projects. So going over here to school, uh, if we wanted to uh, uh, export the test Wi-Fi profile we created to test the strength of the Wi-Fi and switch to another Wi-Fi, if you long press and then press menu, you see you have export. So if you export this, then you can you can export it as a description, but you can that's not really what you're going to do that much. Mostly what you would do is export it as an XML file, either in an email automatically or to your clipboard or to your SD card. Once you do that, the reason you would do that is so then somebody else could uh, with Tasker or if you have Tasker on another phone or tablet you could then import that same XML file into Tasker and everything would be the way you set it up. So you can export um, either any, any way. And you can, when you export a profile, it automatically exports uh, anything associated with it. So it'll automatically export the tasks that are associated with that profile or that are triggered by that profile uh, along with it. And you can do the same thing for scenes. You can long press and then menu and then uh, uh, did I say scenes I meant task and then you can export a task because obviously as we learned in some of our lessons sometimes you don't have a profile associated with a task it's just a task and you trigger it by tapping something on your home screen or something like that so you can export the task as well and uh, you can do the same thing with scenes you long press on the secret lock scene, scene we created you can export so fairly uh, uh, fairly simple to do uh, and you can also do it with projects so for example uh, this little project tab that we just created which I spelled wrong says Lurson uh, for the last lesson uh, if we we have all of our uh, uh, profiles in here you'd want to also move all, all the tasks associated, associated with those profiles in here as well so that they're all together. Uh, once you had that done you could long press on the tab and you could export this tab. So by doing that it's, you're, you're not exporting just one profile you're exporting all the profiles and all the tasks that are in that tab. So that's why it's great for projects to create projects in their own tab and you can export them that way as well. Now the other thing you can do, which you probably can see right here, is you can import. So if someone else had exported uh, their profile that you thought was really cool and sent it to you by email and you want to add it to Tasker, then you just click the import button. Uh, obviously first you need to put it on your uh, SD card in your uh, Tasker uh, folder and then you import it and add it it'll just automatically add the profile to uh, your set of profiles. Um, and you could do that on whichever tab or project uh, tab you wanted it to go under, you would long press that one and choose import and it would import it into that tab. So that's how you can export and import. Uh, also, you probably noticed as we were doing this, but just in case you didn't, with any of these things, besides exporting, Excuse me. You can also clone. Uh, so if you clone it, it just makes another copy of it. So now we have two 101 wave calls because we cloned it. Sometimes you might want to do that if, uh, again, more for testing. So you maybe you want to try something different. So you copy everything and then you change the name to something a little bit different and just change the aspects you want to change to see if it works better. Um, that's the main use for that. Uh, so that's cloning, um, and I showed you about how you can uh, import um, profiles and
task in scenes basically by long pressing on your tab and just selecting the XML file. Another thing that's kind of cool, let's go back to over here to school and go to uh, task. There we go. I had to remember how to do that. Obviously I don't do it that much, but uh, if you long press on a task, that's what you can do to import a task specifically into this list. Um, same thing on profiles. If you're on profiles, long press the profiles tab and you can import a profile. The other thing that's cool is you can set your sort. So if you select set sort, then there's all these different ways that you can sort it. Right now it's user, which means anytime I add something it just goes to the bottom and then if I want to rearrange it, I can rearrange it. Uh, but you can also do it Alpha, alphabetically or context type, uh, active alphabetic, active context type. So there's different ways you can sort which might be helpful. Um, if we're on task, set sort, you don't have quite as many uh, options but you can either do it alphabetic or uh, user. I leave all mine user. Uh, I, it's easy because as you're building stuff you just always know the most recent stuff you've built is at the bottom. But, and you can always manually rearrange it if you want to, but some people work better with, you know, by having these alphabetized, and you do have that as an option, so it's a, a good way to uh, sort things. So that's, uh, I think those are most of the tips I wanted to show you. Let's see, no, there's one other thing I did want to show you, and you've seen this before, um, actually in the last lesson we did this, but if you open up a profile, if you uh, long press on the task then you can add an additional task to this so we could just add a task right away that we wanted to trigger an additional task or if you want to switch the task which is what we did in the last lesson then you can select a different task or you can unlink the task but if it's the only task there then if you unlink it it's gonna delete the profile because there's nothing for it to trigger um, but that's uh, long pressing on the task within the profile allows you to either add an additional task or select a different task. Or if it's a profile that allows for an exit task, it also will give you the option to uh, select an exit task. So that's, uh, that's how you do that. Um, and that's about it. So that's a, a good number of tips. You might have to watch this video a couple of times and follow along to kind of pick those up. As you could even even see, there's some of them that I, I forget how to do because they're just not things I, u I use that often. And there's other ones that I do use all the time, um, like the being able to turn off an activity in task list. That one I use a lot when I'm trying to figure out how to do something. So uh, some of these are going to be useful for you. Some of these you may never use, um, but it's still kind of good to know and at least uh, uh, know that you can do it if you need to do it. So that is it for this uh, lesson. Um, I do want to say if you're if you're watching all these lessons like as I'm putting them out, uh, I am going to be on vacation for a couple of weeks, so there's going to be some downtime, two to three weeks probably before the next lesson goes up, just to let you know. Um, of course, if you're watching these months down the road, that will be irrelevant for you because you'll see other lessons already up. Anyway, if you like this lesson, please click the like button. If there's anybody you know who might uh, benefit from knowing these tips uh, for Tasker, then share the video with them. Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Reddit, all those fun ways that are down there. And uh, check out my channel. I've got lots of Android app reviews, good uh, product reviews, some cool stuff that you could use with your Android phone. Uh, check out that Mi Electronics headphones uh, review that I did, Bluetooth headphones. Probably the best Bluetooth headphones you could ever get to go with your Android phone. Um, anyway, lots of cool stuff over there. So check that out. Subscribe. Uh, favorite the play, uh, Tasker lesson playlist so that you can keep up with uh, new lessons as I add them. And that's about it. Until next time. So have fun with Tasker.